as insulation. I always think the glass will along the, the walls and the PIR board and the ceilings that not yet confirmed, definitely the PIR board and the ceilings. Yeah, so what I've had to do in advance of doing anything is run some cables for lights. Hopefully I'll be a wee kind of top locker here, so that's the feed for that. Basically it comes down, goes fed from there, up, along here, down, loop back, along the back there, along the ceiling, one, two, three, four of these. I've done this in 1.5mm. The lights will be kind of low consumption, but when you take into account the, the length of the cable run, it kind of decreases the, the capacity of the cable, derates it, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> so it runs along here, down into the final light, and down into this panel here. And above that rib, I'm going to have a 240 volt socket and a USB, so I've kept the USB on that one cable. Due to the size of it, the lights, they are going to be switched yourself, uh, touch lights. So I guess it'll be in a thermal feed until you need to put them on. And that's pretty much it. Insulation on the roof. Look at this bit here, that's about 25mm. So I'm hoping we can just stick this up here. You can actually buy insulation spikes. And stick on here. You push your board up into it and bend the spikes back. So we'll see how that goes. But if you look at these ribs, a slight angle, kind of head out like that. So, if we take a cut along here, slightly angle it back, that should be quite a snug fit. And then, I'm also thinking of just running about a 6mm along here just to for a bit of extra screw retention, whether I can keep it within the 6mm ply in the roof and the 6mm. I'm going to run along these ribs, I don't know, but We'll see how it goes, feeling that, I've seen a lot of people just screw right into the metal but they say that conducts coldness and condensation or everything else, so just kind of winging it just now but that's the plan so and plans are always subject to change so we'll see what happens. Cheers! on the roof, the ceiling, whatever I call it. Uh, that's two boards fitted between these two ribs. I basically used these self adhesive spikes. Peel that off, stick it to the roof, pierce your board through it and this just slides over the top and it's kind of self locker so once you push that on it, it doesn't come off. Uh, the board, as you'll see, at an angle and that just follows the, the contour the shape of the ribs uh, that's just done with a jigsaw the full length and I think it's at 22 and a half degrees just one of the predetermined settings on the jigsaw nothing too technical but that seems to have worked because when you look in here it's sitting not too bad and then what I'll do is I'll run tape right along there whether it's over about a six mil ply Whatever, but that's that's two done, and then you can see these fixings here. I just folded over the spike, uh, trimmed it a wee bit, and then just put a tape, put a tape over it, and that's pretty much it. So, so got to do. I can do that third one, but the fourth one I'll need to wait until I get the bulkhead out, and that's right against that. So, onwards and upwards. Cheers. That's the third panel. The roof cut. Take a wee check out the back there because the wiring was just off centre because I kept it on alongside the that rib. That's the roof spikes in there, six in total, two in the centre, two between the centre and the outside. Uh, that'll, when you, you horse that up there, it'll uh, follow the contours of the roof. Keep that in curvature. I would take a video of me fitting this, but it may induce swearing and I don't think anybody needs to see or hear that. Cheers! Mm -hmm.